truthfully, I've thought up countless possibilities about coming back here. Looking out at the same scenery that she saw that day. But I never could have imagined that I'd actually be standing here with you. <laughs> it's just too outrageous. Doctor. Where'd I go? Can't tell you. Counts it bypassed you and gave me a secret order. I'm lying? Oh my. I'm almost touched by how much you trust her. Fine, fine. I just went to splurge on a bunch of clothes, that's all. And I've already gone through inspection. What? Are you surprised? Some of your little cuties are always glaring at me through gritted teeth. But when are they actually gonna find the balls to pick a fight? Calcet already explained the situation? They're dealing with it? <laughs> come on. Show some respect for the needs of your staff. Just let them come at me. I'm bored out of my skull here anyway. You used to like working with us mercs a whole bunch. Mercenaries are efficient instruments of war. Just like fast food. Ready to eat and easily disposable. You want to know what happened in the past? Huh. Some people would prefer I keep my mouth shut about that topic. Say, it must be such a blessing to not remember anything. Right? Save the infected? Almost all the Sarkaz in Kazdale are infected. And you haven't even seen the kinds of oppression and conflict that go on there. So, how far do you plan to go with this salvation? You got Kalsit, who can't even protect one single Sarkaz. And you, a goddamned hooded amnesiac. Now, tell me, what are you gonna do? Look at these fresh operators of yours. Starry eyes, full of naivete. Can't help but wonder if they had to watch those kind and gentle folk die one by one, would they still do things the same way? With the same old song and dance? Hey, I'm not trying to look down on anyone. I'm just reminding you, don't just go twisting her ideas into some stupid little joke. Hey you, ever notice those little thingies Amiya wears? You do know that Kalsit is keeping stuff from you, right? Man, I thought you were super smart and observant and good at getting everyone to trust you. Considering you don't remember a thing. Honestly, it's kind of weird that you can even trust other people. <sighs> Makes me wonder what those two jerks would say if they saw you like this. This place sure does get all kinds, huh? A lot more weirdos here than before. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't give a shit what they're thinking. But, I gotta say, Amiya's doing a pretty good job. At least she's working hard to become more like a certain someone. And I can't say I hate that. Doctor, since nobody's ever mentioned this to you before, I'm pretty curious how you'll react when you start to remember what happened. Don't give me that confused look. For now, just remember this name. Teresa. Yeah. Teresa. Uh, somebody's got it easy. Never thought there'd come a day when the doctor would be napping here completely defenseless. <laughs> the past doesn't bug you at all, huh? Sleeping like a baby. Sark has mercenary W. It's been a while, but I guess a while might be something totally different for you. Oh, don't worry. The you here isn't the you I'm looking for. So you're safe. For now. Just for now. This is all too familiar. Kinda scarily familiar. Be straight with me. Did you really lose all your memories? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Didn't think you'd be this hands-on with stuff. Honestly, I'd rather snatch a medal off someone else than suffer this honor from your hand. It's a funny little thing that I get to fight alongside this version of you. And look, 
It turns out the two of us can get along. At least until you remember what happened that day. Hey, everybody! Let's try to stay alive. A mercenary's leadership is about practicality. Don't expect a babysitter. <laughs> yep, another beautiful day. Kill them all to finish the job, right? Not that simple? Oh, what a pain in the ass. Roger that. Understood. Who knows? I might sneak off somewhere. Ah, oh, nice, nice. I'll take a power nap over here. Who's gonna hit the jackpot today? Step right up! Plenty of surprises for everyone! You've got until three to surrender. Three! Boom! <laughs> Seeing you pull 110% out of everyone out there, I feel the nostalgia. Did you see that guy's face just now? The total despair when he realized he was gonna get blown to bits no matter what he did. Wasn't that hilarious? You don't usually make mistakes like that. Are you getting rusty? Or is there too much on your mind? Retreat? Keep casualties to a minimum? <laughs> Can't believe those words are coming out of your mouth. This door seems to be repaired. Huh. Looks like there's a lot more stuff here. But far fewer people. Which side of you is the real one? Doctor, what would you like to do for Rhodes Island today? The usual... Arknights. Cook this, cook that. My turn to cook again. Oh, it's snowing. Hoderer, what's wrong? The book you wanted me to check out? How should I know? What's that pile of ash in the fire? Well, that's… Oh, uh, I mistook the book for Tinder a little while ago. Eh, it's fine. We're cooking dinner with knowledge tonight. It's gonna taste way better than usual, don't you think? How much ammo I got? Uh, I just used 10 grenades, so I have 15 left. And three mines spent yesterday, so six remaining. See? The numbers are correct. Hold it. I know what you're about to say. If only you applied that memory to study and read. <sighs> Seriously, Hoderer. You should have been a teacher. Check this potato. Enos got a head like so. Hmm. Now that I think of it, you could probably squeeze a bomb into a potato. Maybe a good trick to play on some miserable dumbass. Hey, Hoderer! You want a potato? Hey, Hoderer. I've been thinking. If the two of us went at that nasty calcet together, how do you figure our chances taking her out? I mean... You guys are always planning for all contingencies, so we gotta have a plan for that one too, right? <laughs> now that's a funny look on your face! Hey, Enos, maybe you should try to learn a thing or two from that doctor. There's not a whole lot of people who could get away with using you as bait. I mean, you only figured it out halfway through. Me? <laughs> One look at you and Hodor's faces had me in stitches. Makes me want to gift the doctor a potato next time. My name. My name. Hey, Hoderer, you're always reading books. So why don't you come up with a name for me? Teresa said I should come up with a new one. Wait a second. What's with all those books? Pick a name myself? <laughs> Go to hell. Hoderer, 
If you've got a death wish, just say so. Enes, trust me. My head's reserved for just you, okay? <laughs> That's how your lover spat went last time, Enes. I'm just giving you my best impression. What? You mad? As soon as I'm done cooking, Enes always makes me help put up the tent. Then Hoderer always drags me somewhere for recon. After that, there's always some kind of strategy meeting. Huh. Hey, Hoderer. Nothing. I was just talking about how I'll come collect your corpses when the two of you drop dead. Ooh. I'll get some sleep before my next mission. I know what it means to take up the weapons of the dead. Naturally. Your acting's too lame. Let me spice things up a little. How many pieces of candy am I worth now? I actually kinda like that method of valuing people. You sure we shouldn't go with that? Teresa called me over and told everyone what an amazing fighter I am. But she didn't look happy at all. How can I make her happy? What if I invited her over and cooked her a nice dinner? Who's the unlucky one this time? As long as I'm not on the same team as Enos. I'll blow up what I want. You guys do whatever you please. Let me plant some potatoes first. Yeah, yeah, coming. Don't rush me. The plan is to blow them all up. Right? I'm in a good mood. Sucks to be you. I'm in a bad mood. Sucks to be you. I wouldn't move that foot if I were you. Three. One. Kaboom! Take a guess. Is this potato a bomb? Try to take a step. Teresa always says the doctor volunteers for these missions. <laughs> Must be dying to die. Not a single one left. Huh. Babel ought to pay me extra for this. Hmm. If memory serves... I have some potatoes planted over where they're running. If only I brought a few more mines, things would have been different. Ugh, how come this door still hasn't been fixed? Teresa? Isn't that the bunny who always follows the doctor around? Watch your step. Dark Knights.